Good evening, viewers. Welcome to Stepping on the High Waters. I bless God for you. I want to thank him for a blessed day today. It's a precious day because we are all precious in his sight. I am glad to be here in your homes once more. And I know that God is going to fill your spirits, fill your hearts with some good nuggets today. Amen in the name of Jesus. And today we just want to continue on giving thanks. You know, we need to give thanks for who God is in our lives. We need to give him thanks for breathing upon us. We need to give him thanks for allowing us this awesome privilege to be alive on the planet Earth today. We want to thank him for this awesome privilege that we can speak we can talk, we can dance, we can give him praise. So we just want to give him thanks today for his love, for his service. Because we, want to, we know that um, the Lord, our God, our Father is giving service unto us. We have our sun, we have the rain, we have the moon. I mean, uh, our plants being watered. Yes, we know that the rain is just raining, but the plants need it. So, I mean, that is good service to us. We w need water to drink. That is service. And he cares about us. He cares about us. So as he cares, we're supposed to care also. Amen. Let us read from Psalm 106 verse 1, which says, Praise ye the Lord, or give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, his mercy endureth forever. Amen. Praise ye the Lord, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. As we give praise, as we give thanks, we enjoy the benefits of his goodness. We enjoy the benefits of his mercy. We enjoy all that he has in store for us. Amen. So it's a good thing. The scripture says it's a good thing to give praise, to give thanks unto the Lord our God. We want to praise the Lord because... As we said before, for his goodness and his mercy. We also want to praise him because guess what? We are also seated in high places with our Christ. We are also seated in heavenly places with our Christ. We are also in the palm of his right hand. Amen. And we choose to worship him because... He wants us to. We choose to worship him and to be obedient to him in all that we do, in all that we say, wherever we go. Whatever good he has done for us, we need to give him thanks. We need to give him praise. We need to trust him. Amen. And there are special anointings that the Lord wants to bestow upon his people. So we ought to praise him. We ought to give him thanks to receive those things. And even when we receive them, we ought to still give thanks. All right? We declare that his favor is upon us. So we need to give him thanks. He's, we are great in his, in his eyesight. We are beautiful. We are wonderfully made. And we need to give him thanks. Okay, it does not matter if we know that already. We need to understand those basic principles. We cannot bypass those basic principles. And um, as one person said, we need deep stuff. But if we cannot care, if we cannot relish, if we cannot appreciate the basic stuff, the small stuff, we will not be able to swim in the deep stuff. We will not be able to settle down in those deep stuff. We will not be able to run with those deep stuff. 
Amen. So we have to care. We have to appreciate. We have to acknowledge the simple things that the Lord is saying to us. The simple things that he needs for us to do. Amen. So, uh, brethren, we need to give thanks. Even though one may not have anything or you think that there is nothing to give God, God praise and thanks for. Still just do it. Just do it from the bottom of your heart. Show him that you love him. Show him that you want to continue his giving him service. Show him that you care. You care from the bottom of your heart. Not just caring uh, from the from your lips, lip service, as they say. But you care from deep down in your spirit, man. Care because he needs us to care. Care for one another. Respect one another. Uh, not because someone else is not living like you are or, or working where you are working or, or the, their lifestyle, the home lifestyle is not like yours. We still need to care. That is what is required of us. We still need to care. Thank you. Amen. Also, we know that our God will make our name known all over the world. All over the world. And just give to God thanks for that. Because, listen, you can be right here in Tobago and God allow someone quite in, in Venezuela, someone in Australia, someone in Paris to pick up your name and just keep praying for you, just giving thanks for you. We have to stretch our minds. We cannot keep our mind in a box and think it's just around us. No, God is an awesome God. He's a faithful God. He's the ever-loving, everlasting God. And he can do all things. So he can have you right here at home. But he sends your name far and wide for someone to pray for you. Or even someone to just bless you. You don't know the person. You might just get a call. And that is another area I was sharing with someone. Sometimes a number... Um, appears on your phone, your phone is ringing, and we may say, I don't know that number. Before you switch off or didn't answer, just ask the Holy Spirit if you need to take that call. Because there could be an angel on the other side of the line just waiting to just bless you. May not be with monetary contribution, may not be with, with, with things, but just God told them to just call you and just bless you. Bless you. Bless you from the heart. Just keep on bestowing blessings upon you. So we have to careful at times we don't ask, oh, I don't know that number. And some of us, I see um, with my own eyes how some of us behave so um, aggressive, you know, I don't know that number. I'm not answering it. You don't know who is on the other line. You don't know. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. That is what he's there for. And we need to give the Holy Spirit thanks. We need to give him thanks for interceding on our behalf, for being there for us, giving us all the, the wisdom that we, we need. Amen. Giving us instructions, giving us direction. Amen. So we need to be all times giving him praise and thanks. Just spending that quiet moment with our father. He is a father of abundance. So we need to give him thanks for abundance. Today your abundance might not be as great as you think. But it's abundance. So we still need to give God thanks for the little, the little drop in the bucket. And then he in turn will just bestow much more upon you, upon us. Because we were grateful. We cared. We loved the small portion. So he says, listen, now it's time for Sandra to be upgraded. Now it's time for Paula to be upgraded. Now it's time for Teresa, for John, 
Amen? So we need to be careful. We need to give thanks from our hearts. There are so many um, doors that the Lord wants to open for us. We need to give thanks for those doors. So many avenues we need to pass. I give thanks to our God for all those avenues. You never knew, you never know when he is going to, 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 to bless you. And we need to be positioned. We need to be set apart. We need to be in that place where the Lord can do what he has to do with us. Amen? His blessings for us are right now. There are blessings that are, are ahead waiting to come, but there are blessings for right now. So we need to give thanks. We need to give thanks. We need to give praise. Amen? And the scripture says, He that dwelleth, in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Let us abide. Let us abide. Let us give thanks. Let us give praise. Hallelujah. Our God is a marvelous God. He is truly marvelous unto a people. Amen. As we walk in obedience, he will show us great and mighty things because he is the marvelous God. Amen? Because uh, as we give thanks, as we said earlier, and his mercies endure it forever. His goodness goes towards us. All right? And we have the Holy Spirit reminding us at all times of um, things that the Lord wants to, to do with us, things that he wants to say to us. He just wants to share with us. Things that he wants us to know about. Things that he wants us to keep record about. So we need to give him thanks. He wants us to praise him for our finances. Praise him for whatever he has like lands and, and, and houses. And some of us may need a vehicle. Some of us may need someone healed. Someone may be going through a trying time family-wise and you need God to rectify those things. Give him thanks. Give him thanks, sister. Give him thanks, brother. Be excited. Be joyful because the joy of the Lord is our strength. And we need to give him thanks daily so he can bring us into that place that joyful place, you know, joy is, is, is a very, uh, maybe standard, but it's a, it's a very pleasant word. Um, a word that gets you excited. A word that brings you to that point to say, hey, listen, now, I am sad all the time. I'm depressed all the time. But if I'm joyful, if I give thanks, my joy will come back to me in big and great amounts. My joy will we'll, we'll, we'll just have me in a place where I can rejoice. I can share my testimony with others. I can, you know, when I offload on the Lord, he will just be right there coaxing you, as the, the LLE says, taking you from point A to point B. So let's be joyful because God says we are a victorious people. We are a chosen generation. Amen? So let's give him thanks. Let's give him praise. We need to walk the walk and talk the talk. If we are always depressed, if we are always sad, if we are always dung, if we are always um, saddy, saddy, come on, there are people waiting on us. Sometimes when you smile, Adora, you can um, bring one person into a place of knowing, listen, I am not dead. I am alive. I am alive and well just by your smile, Sandra. Just by your smile, Teresa. Just by your smile. Let us smile some more. 